Hey guys, my name is Lena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw these cute houses. This tutorial was inspired by cute Scandinavian houses in Copenhagen and if you're interested how to draw these cute houses in Scandinavian style in Adobe Illustrator, then keep watching. Now you see the size of my workspace and now you see the colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original file with uh, colors and design then you can go to my Patreon page, the link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start the tutorial. At first I'm going to create the main shapes of my houses. At first I need to take a light red color and rectangle tool and create rectangle 364 to 550. Okay. Move here. Now I need this gray color and a rectangle tool and you need to create rectangle 364 to 145 and move it here, it's the roof. Now uh, let's take uh, this light color and rectangle tool and now create rectangle uh, 204 and 384. Okay, move here. Now uh, let's take um, this orange color and again rectangle tool and create rect rectangle uh, 204 and 134 and move it here okay and uh, the last one let's take this light pink color and rectangle tool and uh, let's create the rectangle 193 to 580 okay and now let's move it here okay and now let's take again rectangle tool and let's create rectangle 180 93 to 97 and put here okay now let's select the first roof and free transform tool this option and let's make this size side like this now again free transform tool this option and make like this okay and the last one select this shape and again this option and make like this well done uh, now let's create uh, the first window we need a uh, light green color and create rectangle 47 to 47 okay now go to object path offset path and here five okay let's take light gray color this one and now twice copy and paste this green shape and one of the copies move a little down like that select both copies pathfinder minus front 
and this shape let it be a transparency multiply sorry opacity multiply uh, and now now let's take again this light gray color and rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle like this now move to the center now right click transform rotate 90 copy preview copy okay now pen tool and let's draw here the curtains this way and here transparency 20 okay uh, you can stay like this send these shapes to front and you can stay your curtains like this or you can make them smaller this way it's no matter because the color the same and let's right click transform reflect vertical copy and move here okay uh, next let's take this gray color and rectangle tool draw here the rectangle okay and now let's take a polygon tool and here we need three sides okay it's triangle and now let's make it shorter like that and a little thinner okay now uh, make it a little shorter and let's take dark gray color now copy and paste this shape and make it smaller smaller i think like that and take this color okay uh, the first window is ready now just uh, select the window group it hold odd and make two copies like this now select them and align them this way okay i think it's pretty now copy select uh, the red shape copy and paste it and make the copy shorter like this and take this color now again copy and paste red shape and again make it shorter like this and take like a light red color a light gray color and now i'm going to create the next window i'm going to show you only the size it's 50 7 to 80 pixels and now i'm going to make it pretty fast because here the same way to create window okay window is ready now select it group it and again hold alt and put it here 
and here. Now align them and make copies, move here. Okay, and now let's take dark red color and rectangle tool and create here the shape like this. Now hold ALT, make the copy. And now press Ctrl D as many times as you need it. Now select all shapes here. Now uh, hold ALT and make the copy and move here. Like this. Now I need to change color here, ungroup the window. And now here I need light orange and here dark orange. Okay. Now guys I'm going to draw like fans on the window. Let's take dark gray color and draw the first shape here. It will be pretty easy. Uh, now hold out and make the copy. Now Ctrl D, Ctrl D. Now select all copies and make them bigger like this. Move up make shorter okay now i need to make this fence a little shorter like this and uh, sorry thinner and uh, now let's select this shape copy and paste it right click transform rotate 90 okay and make it a little, uh, move it a little down and make it longer, a little up. Okay, now uh, select the shape, hold out and make the copy. Okay, now let's take polygon tool and create rectangle with three sides. Make it smaller, more smaller, like this. A little bigger, move here. And longer, like that. Now make three copies and move them here okay and now let's create one more window we need the shape like this window so copy and paste the shape of this window move here now take a direct selection tool Select these two corners, hold and drag to round the corners. And now the same steps like with the first window. And here I just copy and paste this shape. Make it shorter, rotate, put here, like this. Now right, right click, transform, reflect, vertical copy and move here. Okay. I like it. 
now the same steps like the, the like the, the first window okay and now group the window hold out and make the copy okay and now let's create uh, the door we need to take uh, dark gray color uh, this uh, middle gray color and a rectangle tool and let's create rectangle uh, 80 to 140 84 and let's put it here okay and now let's select the draw go to effect warp arc upper and here I think will be good 32 and horizontal okay object expand appearance and object path offset path 5 okay and white color uh, now move this shape a little down or, or a little up or you can stay it like it was now let's create the steps here I need dark gray color and rectangle tool the first step will be here now uh, hold out and copy it make it shorter now copy and pa uh, copy and paste the first step and make the copy shorter like this and make it light gray color like the door and the same here copy and paste the step make it shorter and light gray color now take this color light gray color and create uh, there square with help of rectangle tool like this and again rectangle tool create uh, one more rectangle here uh, now select this point and move it a little up now go to effect warp arc upper and here let it be 32 and vertical uh, object expand appearance select both uh, change fill to stroke and take this size of the brush and object expand appearance now uh, right click transform reflect vertical copy and move here now select all three shape all four shapes uh, and i think let's um, make these shapes shorter and these two move down yep it will be better and now let's take this color and create here the shape like this okay and the house is more is almost ready uh, but uh, the last thing i need to take white and black gradient here you need to be sure that you have black color here all of you have 
black color the color code of black is six zeros it's very important here now let's return to the swatches and here let's create ellipse with black and white gradient here we need change white to yellow and move the slider here now opacity screen and move this shape here make move the slider like that and that's all now the window is lighting let's go to the next house let's select this color and polygon tool now we need to create egg and rectangle tool uh, re uh, triangle um, and now let's make it longer but wider okay a little shorter uh, now let's take a light gray color and um, in the stroke and pen tool and draw the stroke here with help of pen tool okay now let's change here to 8 and now select the stroke object expand okay copy and paste the stroke change uh, the color here to this one and send it backward and move down now let's play with the shadow a little down now let's a little up a little thinner like this and now let's take direct selection tool and move these two points here and the same these two points here and now let's fix a little mistakes move this point with direct selection tool here and the same here and let's look here and the same here direct selection tool this point here and the same this one okay now i need to take this orange color and rectangle tool and i want to draw here uh, the rectangle like this uh, now let's take this window hold odd and make the copy now make more copies change here colors okay copy and paste this shape and now copy this window and change the color here okay it's ready now move this window up okay and now let's fix here some mistakes great and now let's take red color and rectangle tool i'm going to create the door like this now go to object uh, object path offset path 5 and let's take this color and send this shape to front okay and now let's draw here christmas brief uh, let's take green color 
Okay, move here. Make it a little smaller. Now object path offset path and here you can play with the options. Maybe you want minus 20 or maybe you want minus 15 or maybe minus 12. But I think better will be minus uh, 14. Select both shapes. Now Pathfinder, exclude. Uh, now let's add Christmas toys, uh, Christmas balls. Uh, let's take red color and draw the first ellipse here. Now copy uh, the ellipse and move it down. Now select both ellipses, uh, align them. And now right click, transform, rotate. 45 degrees, copy, Ctrl D, Ctrl D. And now let's uh, change the color here and here. Okay, now select uh, the shape, copy and paste it. And now move it down, select the color and send to back. It will be the shadow okay now let's uh, move on i think i want to move down this window and let's uh, select this color and rectangle tool draw here the first shape move up now make it shorter uh, now let's copy the shape and now rotate it put it here transform reflect vertical copy and now put it here like These select all three shapes and align them and move it a little up. Okay, now here I need to ungroup my window and change the colors here to light orange and dark orange. And now I need to create Christmas tree. I need to take dark orange color and star tool with three sides. Now rotate it like this and take direct selection tool and select this point and move it up. And now you need to play the shapes with copy and paste them and make them bigger to create Christmas tree shape like this. Now uh, you need to copy the last one and move this point down. Okay. Now select all three shapes and align them. Group them and Pathfinder Unite. Okay, the Christmas tree is ready. And now you need to move this shape of the window, shapes of the window to front and the curtains the same and put the tree inside like this. Uh, now you need to copy and paste 
the highlight and put it here. Okay. And now let's uh, create the last house. I need to take pin color and rectangle tool and draw here the shape like this. Uh, now select all... Uh, no. Uh, now let's uh, select this shape and make it shorter and make it gray color. Now let's uh, take pin color again and rectangle tool and draw here short rectangle, small rectangle and copy and paste it and make the rectangle smaller and take this color, move down. Okay, select it, move down a little more. Okay, now dark pink color and egg and rectangle tool and draw here shape like this. Now uh, copy with help of odd. Now select both shapes and copy them and move them here. Okay, now let's take this color and egg and rectangle tool. Create the rectangle like this. Okay. And now let's select this color and pen tool and create the shape with help of pen tool. Change to stroke and here the size will be 8. Now go to this shape and make it longer. Now let's take uh, this shape object expand. OK. And let's move this point up this way. Select both points and move them down. Now let's take the shape and uh, right click Transform Reflect Vertical Copy and move the shape here. OK. Make this a little longer. Okay, and now let's add windows. Just copy and paste this window, move here, and you need ungroup it and uh, delete unwanted parts. Delete this one and this one and change here color to dark pink. Okay, now select the window and group it. You can move it a little up. Okay, now let's select this window and put here. And uh, you can change here color to dark pink and let's select um, rectangle tool, create here the rectangle and send the house and rectangle to back. Select this shape and effect, pop, arc, upper and here the same options. OK, uh, now let's take this color and uh, egg and rectangle tool and create here the rectangle and send the, the window and this shape to front. And now group it. And now you just need copy and paste windows. 
and as well now I'm going to create shapes from other houses which I already create to create the view of this house. Now just look at speed art. Now let's take text tool and let's write for example bakery. You can take any font you like the most. The name of my font here on the screen. Take this color and the size will be I think 30. Now here 100 or 200 as you like it and create outlines make it shorter like that and a little up and to the center okay i like it and now let's change the colors here and add highlights okay now let's create the background and the snow my background is dark violet so you need to take dark violet and uh, rectangle tool create the square and send it back and now let's take white color and uh, brush tool and the option of my brush here is middle and let's draw here slowly the snow shape okay now change uh, fill to stroke uh, stroke to fill change stroke to fill okay and now let's copy and paste this shape twice one of the copies down select both and pathfinder minus front and here dark uh, light gray color and now guys let's create the smoke for this we need to take uh, for now uh, white color brush tool and draw here the smoke like this okay now let's select the whole design and move it a little down uh, let's select this shape and uh, here i need a black and white gradient here i need white move the slider like this and here 90 let's move slider back like this and opacity screen okay now go to select the smoke go to effect blur gaussian blur and let it be all 17 or 23 22 like this okay and here 50 okay the smoke is ready and now the last one is the snow we need to take a white color and draw small ellipse like this now like it uh, make it closer now copy the ellipse make it more smaller and now again copy the ellipse make it more smaller now select the first one go to symbols plus okay select this one symbols plus okay and this one plus okay now delete these three shapes and uh, let's take the smallest one and um, spread tool spread tool and just spray symbols 
like snow. This way it spreads simple, but it looks very very realistic. Okay, the first is ready. Now take the middle one and again sprayer tool and spray. Spray, 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 spray. You need to change the sizes of the snow to create realistic view. Okay, I think now it's ready. And now let's take again a brush tool and draw some uh, snow uh, on the window, on the window, wherever you want. Okay guys, our cute Scandinavian houses are ready. And that's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. And if yes, please give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials. Bye bye guys. Bye.